This is just a short demonstration to show how to uh, set up the debugger in microvision so that you can write to memory in addition to reading from memory. So here I have a short demo program that loads into R0, the starting address of this string. And note that I'm using the technique uh, described in the top of the file comments for the string.c program. Uh, str1 is actually a 128 element character array. The string here is 14 characters, including the, uh, the null character terminating the string, which I then fill or follow with 114 bytes of space, so 114 plus 14 gives me the 128 bytes that I need for the character array. Alright, so after R0 is loaded with the starting address of the array, I move our, the character constant, capital A, into R1 and then I want to execute a, a store byte to store this capital A into the beginning of the string. Um, in a high level what I'm doing is capitalizing the beginning of the string. So the program assembles correctly. Now if I go to the debugger and run it. I immediately get an access violation, no write permission. So I exit the debugger, and um, I need to initialize uh, the debugger um, with a, a map file. So in order to do that, I click on target options. Go to the debug tab, and I want to specialize, uh, specify an initialization file. That file, which I've, uh, I've copied from the website, it's this map file, which I've copied into the project folder for this project. Okay, Going, coming back here, I'll click on this ellipsis, select that map file. I didn't need to uh, navigate to it, um, but you know if you do just navigate to it, open it. Um, I'm done at this point, but I'll show you what that file looks like. And then just click on uh, OK. Uh, this is the contents of the map.ini file all it does is set the entire 32k bytes we have available to us in the, de in the debugger to read, write, or, or execute. So now if I go back into the debugger, that file is read. There's the contents of it. And now I should be able to successfully run the program which I've done with no uh, access violation. So uh, for any ARM programs um, inside of which you'll be writing to memory, you have to do this. So there you have it.